Welcome back to my channel. We are going to go ahead and do the clout look featuring Cardi B. Um, I already started off with my eyebrows already done and I started with moisturizing with my Pond's Dry Skin Moisturizer to prep my skin. Now I'm going to be taking the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and taking that yellow shade on a fluffy brush and packing it onto my lid. Then I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I'm going to use the lightest shade to buff out the Zulu palette's yellow shade. Now I'm going to take the NYX Black Liquid Liner. This is one of my favorite liners, it's pretty precise. I did kind of mess up a little bit, but you know, concealer can clean up anything. So I just go ahead and do a winged liner with that. Now I'm going to take the J. LaRue Cosmetics, I believe that's how you pronounce it, J. LaRue Cosmetics. Um, it is a loose, chunky glitter. I believe it's either in the shade Gold Digger or in Disco Ball. I believe it's Disco Ball, but I'm not 100% sure it's either one. <laughs> Now I'm going to take some mink lashes by, I think it's Yolord, Yolord Cosmetics. I can never pronounce it, but they're my favorite lashes. They're big and they're fluffy. Um, if you need some lashes, hit me up. I will get you right. Um, and I always think about this and it cracks me up. Like people who say like people who use an applicator or like normal people, but like people who use their fingers, like, you know, sissy can fight type shit. Like, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I've always never been able to use an applicator. It never works for me. It's always in the way and it makes it harder. Um, so comment by, down below if you're one of those people who do not use an applicator. I need, I need to join the club. Okay. <laughs> Taking my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my favorite primer. I use it on my clients. I think it is the best primer for pretty much any skin type. Um, it just it gets super tacky and it's just my biggest preference. to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Silk Foundation. It is in the shade 140N. I put that on the perimeter of my face and then in the inner in the inside I use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in um, Light 02. 
Um, I, light O2 is typically my shade, um, but it's a little fair because I'm very, very fair. <laughs> um, so I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation to kind of balance it out and give me some type of color, but still, you know, not making my neck look orange. <laughs> And I think I deleted the footage, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Light Cream Contour Kit. Um, I use that to contour my face, um, but I think I lost the footage and deleted it, but um, there's that for the base. Next, I'm going to take the Park Ave Princess palette. It's a contour palette from Tarte, um, just to set the contour that's in place while my whole entire base is still wet. That's super important. And for some reason, it blends the best for me. Um, but that is just my preference. And then clearly I'm having a jam session because what's doing your makeup without some throwbacks 90s R&B? Um, that's just, you know, that's how it goes. Um, you're going to see a lot of that probably in this video. <laughs> I'm taking my favorite blush of all time. It is Drugstore. I believe it's literally only $3. <laughs> um, it is the Mellow Wine Blush by Wet n Wild. You can find this at Walgreens. You can find this at Walmart. You can find it on MI or CVS. Probably Publix if I don't know. This is something for Publix is down south, but it is the best blush of all times. I use it on all skin tones. I don't know how I managed to do it, but it is just so good. I love it. You gotta go get it. Now I'm just taking the Zulu palette again and I'm going to buff a the yellow shade underneath my eye to match the top.
Now I am going in with the Wet n Wild Black Pencil Liner. Um, this is pretty creamy and it's pretty cheap, I believe, like I said, like three bucks maybe. Um, I just put that in my waterline and I kind of drag it underneath my lash line, but not too far down, just so I can buff it in with what you'll see is a Anastasia Beverly Hills flat brush. Now I am taking the Juvia's I Am Magic setting powder in white sand. This is my favorite setting powder for anybody. I recommend it to anyone to use it if you're looking for a setting powder that lasts you all day, through the sweat, the tears, anything. Um, definitely use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation, or excuse me, not foundation, um, their setting powder. Um, I use it on clients, I use it on myself, I use it on my dog, I don't care. <laughs> this is never going to be leaving my my makeup vanity period. <laughs> Now I'm just using a random mascara. I genuinely do not keep up with mascaras because I wear falsies, so any mascara that I use will work. Um, nothing in specific, I don't know the name of it, so I apologize. I went ahead and lined my lips with a that black um, lip pencil from Wet n Wild and then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip kit in the yellow shade and I'm just going to dab that around my lips and blend it out. And that is the completed look you guys if you guys like this video or if you like this tutorial or if you like this look in general please give me a thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel and comment if you like it or would like to see more videos suggestions anything um you can follow me on instagram at makeup by trinity with an underscore um snapchat at trinity marcy and facebook with at makeup by trinity underscore thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys thank you so much see you later